Before diving into Strassen's algorithm, it's essential to understand the naive approach to matrix multiplication. To calculate one element of the resulting matrix, we multiply each element of a row in the first matrix by its corresponding element in a column of the second matrix and then sum these products. The result of this sum is the value of one element in the output matrix. This method is repeated for each element in the resulting matrix, requiring a comprehensive series of multiplications and additions for complete matrix multiplication. So there are a total of n square elements in the resultant matrix, and each element requires n multiplications and n minus one additions. So the final complexity would be big O of n cube. Now, let's take a different approach, a recursive method of solving the same problem. Let's take two eight by eight matrices as an example. We will divide the matrices into four halves and we'll make them a two by two matrix And then we will simply perform the matrix multiplication as we do with a two by two matrix. The process recursively repeats until the dimensions of the matrices being multiplied reduce to a base case, which is a size of two by two. Now, let's analyze one of the multiplications in the next step of recursion. Remember, these two are the submatrices of the original matrices we have seen before, so we will calculate the solution of these two at this step. Now, these matrices have not reached the base case yet. That is, they are still not two by two, so we will repeat the steps again. We will divide the matrices into four submatrices and repeat the same process as before. Now, let's analyze one of the multiplications in the next step of recursion. Now, these are two by two matrices, which is the base case. So we will just calculate them as before and we'll return from here. Now, let's analyze the recurrence relation for this algorithm. Here, the base case is when the dimension of matrix is at most two. Here, eight represents the number of multiplication at each level of recursion. In other words, problem is being divided into eight further subproblems. And two represents the fact that each subproblem is being reduced to half the dimension as previous one. And n square represents the non-recursive work done at each level, that is the summation of the matrices. Keep one thing in mind, they are not normal integer summations. They are matrix summations, which means for every element in the resultant matrix, there would be a summation. And since there are total n square elements, there would be total n square summations. Now, let's apply master's theorem on this relation to find the complexity. Now, on comparing the recursive and non-recursive part of the equation, it turns out that the recursive part is dominant. So that means it belongs to the first case of master's theorem, so the complexity would be big O of n cube. But wait, the complexity is the same as before. Where is the improvement? This is where Strassen comes. The idea behind Strassen's algorithm is to use some clever substitutions to reduce the number of multiplication from eight to seven at each step of recursion. The idea is to use these substitutions to get the elements of the resultant matrix. Try pausing the video and solving the values for the resultant matrix. You will get the value as before, but at a reduced cost. Now in this way, the multiplications have surely been reduced to seven, but additions and subtractions have been increased. These operations are significantly less computationally expensive than multiplication operations so it does not contribute much to the overall complexity. Now the recurrence relation will be nearly the same, except that now there are seven multiplications at each step, 
instead of eight. Now on calculating both the recursive and non-recursive work, it turns out that the recursive work is still dominant. So that means it's the first case of master's theorem. So the final complexity will be big O of n to the power 2.81. So Strassen's algorithm reduces the complexity down from n cubed to n to the power 